Welcome to Christ School Adipur video class. A very, very happy morning to you, my dear students. Let me introduce myself to you. My name is Miss Annie Pariyat. I repeat, Miss Annie Pariyat. And I'm your moral science teacher. In moral science, we are going to learn about good moral values. Good values that you need to have within you. And for our lesson one, the value is attitude. You all have heard this word and used it during your conversation. You say, I don't like her attitude. Or maybe she got a nice attitude or she has a positive attitude. Isn't it students? So what does this word attitude means? Say for example, I will ask you to imagine an apple in your mind. And now think of some few sentences that you would like to say about apple. Start, come on, start thinking. When you look at the apple, the fruit apple, and you have to say a few words about, or few make frame few sentences about this fruit apple. Start forming those few sentences you would like to say about apple. Done it? Yes. Some of you might have thought, an apple is a fruit. I love having apple every day. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. It's a fruit rich in vitamins. I love to have apple because it keeps me fit, healthy. Some of you might have thought an apple is red in color. It is a fruit. Mama gives me apple every day. It's a boring to have apples. Apples are not so yummy as Maggie and burger. Yes. Looking at the same object apple, different students have different thoughts and different way of feeling about that object. So, this way of thinking and feeling about something that is around us is what we call our attitude. It could be a positive, it could be a negative attitude. So students, attitude is a very settled way. It's the way that we have formed of thinking or feeling about something. Just like, like I showed you, gave you the example of apple. It's your way of thinking and feeling about that object. It could be a positive attitude where you're feeling nice and good about it. Or it could be a negative attitude where you are unhappy, not feeling so good about it. So today, we are going to develop some positive attitude. As children, what positive attitudes can we have? Students, we are all blessed with so many things in life. Have you wondered, is everybody around us blessed and fortunate enough, lucky enough to have everything that we, we have? And so, how can we reach out to them? Look at this picture. What do you see? The joy of sharing. Everyone is not fortunate to have what we have. You may have very nice toys. Maybe your friend or someone else around you may not have such toys. You start sharing your toys with them. What happens? There is joy and happiness around you. Not only you, but even that child feels happy, cared, 
and loved. Isn't that a great feeling? Yes. Look at this picture. That young boy is helping out those little children to learn to read. It's not just material. It's not just things that we can give out to help the poor and the needy. You can even help others by sharing your knowledge, sharing whatever you have with others. You also see the man is giving food to the poor and the needy. The other picture, the boy, the man is helping that old lady. All of us can help and reach out to others in every little way. Remember, why should we have this attitude? Because everyone is not fortunate as we are. They're not as lucky as we are. We are lucky to have so many good things in our life. And so we can help those underprivileged people, people who are poor and needy. So here is a story. You all love to hear story. This is a story about the rickshaw puller. What is his name? You can see the rickshaw puller in the picture. His name is Ali. Let's read the story together. Ali is a rickshaw puller. He lives in Lucknow. Lucknow gets very cold in winter. It's very cold over there in winter. One cold night, what happened? What happened on one cold night? Ali saw a man in a car. You can see a man comes in a car. The man was giving poor people blankets. All those people sitting by the roadside at that cold night. The man came and gave them blankets. A beggar came up to the kind man. But there was no blankets left with this rich man. He couldn't help that poor beggar. So what did he do? So the man drove off. He drove the car and went off because he was left with no blanket. And who was watching all this? Ali, the rickshaw puller. What did he do? The next morning, Ali bought a blanket and gave it to the beggar. The beggar who did not get the blanket the last night. What did Ali do? He bought a blanket and gave it to the beggar. How the beggar felt? The man wept, the beggar. He wept and blessed the giver. Why? Why he wept? Because he was so touched that there is people, there are people around him who loves and cares and who feels for him. Students, isn't it a great experience? Since then, since then, Ali is a poor rickshaw fellow, puller. So since then, Ali does two jobs. He works as a guard at night. He is already a rickshaw puller. So during daytime, he is doing rickshaw pulling. And at night, he started working as a guard. Because he's not rich to donate people blankets and help out. But he wants to do it. So now he started doing these two jobs. And he saves his money buys blanket for the needy and he's helping them. Isn't he just great students? Can we all do the same? Yes. As little children, what can we do? We are not grown-ups to go out and help or we don't have money, we are not earning money to distribute to the people. But children, we also have many things that we give out to the poor and the needy. So my plan of action, it's going to be the fun activity for you. Okay, home fun activity. 
And what is that activity you're going to sit and plan with your grandpa, grandma or with your parents? Your plan of action could be any of this. I will donate my old books to the needy children. All of you have the old books. You can give it away to the poor. You cannot afford to buy a new book. I will give to needy children on my birthday. Not necessary. call all your friends who have enough and give them more. You can call, go out and distribute to the needy on your birthday. You can even save from your pocket money. Mama Papa gives you pocket money. You can save and give little to the needy people. I will teach our maid servants children. The boy comes to your house to do your household work. Help that child. Help the children to read ABCD, to read words. Yes. Or you can even donate your toys. When you get new toys and you're no more interested to play with your old toys, what you can do is donate it, give it to the children who don't have it instead of throwing it away. I can even go from house to house, collect money and give it to those NGOs who are helping the poor. So students, when you get the worksheet, you will have this plan of action. You are going to select the good plan that you would like to commit. So my commitment to help the poor and the needy, that will be your attitude and you are going to make those com commitments. So students, I hope you will enjoy doing it. Till we meet again, God bless you students. Happy learning.